My name is Rona Epstein. I'm an honorary research fellow at Coventry Law School, Coventry University. And for the past year and a half, myself and two colleagues, we've been looking at the problems of the prosecution of parents whose children don't attend school. School is compulsory in this country from the age of five to school leaving at 18. And during those long years of compulsory schooling, if a child does not attend school, if there's an unauthorized absence, the parent is guilty of the crime of truancy in the 1996 Education Act. The strange thing about this offence is that it is an offence of strict liability so that the person committing the offence doesn't need to intend to commit an offence and indeed doesn't necessarily know that an offence has been committed. If a parent takes a child to school, waves goodbye at the school gates, goes off to work, if the child then goes round the school and off to smoke a cigarette behind Tesco's, it's the parent who's committed an offence even if she honestly believed her child was at school all day. It's quite a serious offence in English law. The penalty can be up to three months imprisonment. There can be fines of £60 per parent, but these can mount up to £2,500. And the, um, eventually it can lead to imprisonment. You may think that very few people would be prosecuted under this law. After all, most parents want their children to go to school and to be happy to go and to do well at school. However, in 2018, 27,000 prosecutions were brought against parents because their children had not attended school. We set up a small research study to look at what lay behind lacking attendance at school and found that children were very often, uh, children who had special needs were on the autism spectrum and had very serious social anxiety about being at school. We believe the law should be changed and as in Scotland it should be a child welfare issue and not a criminal justice issue. Prosecuting parents doesn't help children and it doesn't help families.